Tonight, a Wave 3 News investigation goes beyond the rising crime numbers you hear all the time in the news. This time, we focus on one house. One convicted drug dealer, a double homicide, and no apparent change in the way business is done there. All taking place right next to an elementary school. It's John Bull's latest exclusive undercover investigation. Shots fired into a birthday party crowd. I, can't, I don't know where he came from. He just popped up. Three people hit. Two would not see another birthday. And he sat her and he told us, he was like, I'm 48. I would, he's like, I don't want to die. I want to die. The double homicide at 2608 Kentucky Street, half a block away from an elementary school, was a 60th birthday party for Clarence Woods, who has years worth of drug charges, dismissals, convictions, and breaks like getting shock probated just months into a five-year prison sentence for cocaine trafficking. He was locked back up a month later for a probation violation. In June of 2013, Metro Police served a search warrant at 2608 Kentucky and found a large amount of marijuana, large amount of cash, and arrested an individual who admitted to purchasing crack cocaine from Pumpkin, also known as Clarence Woods. He was charged with trafficking a controlled substance within 1,000 feet of a school. His punishment, the clerk's office says he ended up paying a $135 fine. So you say there's no drug dealing going on in this house? No, it isn't. Because there's a school right up the street. I know it is, and no drug dealing going on in this house. When I took an undercover look at 2608 Kentucky in 2014, I recorded people of all ages coming to the door, spending a couple of minutes inside, then leaving. As many as 20 people per hour. So many people, they often formed lines, passing each other, coming and going. They came by car, by bike, and by foot all hours of the day. The proof's in the, in the video right there. When police looked at my video, they said there's no question that scores of people coming and going after a couple of minutes inside are buying drugs. Since then, Woods posted a $10,000 cash bond for the release of one of the 11 co-defendants in a seven count cocaine trafficking criminal syndicate indictment. One of the other defendants in that case is Nathaniel Woods, later charged with murder in the death of a Louisville police officer. You're not selling any drugs? No, I'm not selling any drugs. Man, I wish you would stop it. This is so embarrassing, man. After multiple calls to our newsroom alleging Woods is selling drugs again and no one's doing anything about it, I went undercover. Again, 2608 Kentucky is busy. Every day I watch, several people per hour coming and going, clutching something after spending a minute or two inside. They come on foot or by car. Some have drivers waiting and cars stack up in the street and people pass each other coming and going. Woods can be seen counting cash at times. Hand-to-hand -hand transactions can be seen too in front of the home and out on the street. When Woods is not home, people wait for him at his locked fence. I asked him to explain this activity. So the people who are coming and going here, Ain't no sometimes people coming and going. You, if you if you you can't show me where no people are coming and going out of my yard. You cannot show me that. Going right up here. No, yeah. no, yeah. no, no, you can't. Yeah. You can't do Matter it. Fact, they're waiting till you get home in many cases. Too. Who is? I don't know who they are. John Bullet boo man. That's just boo The double homicide here that was uh, in 2016. What can you right. tell me about that? Was that was that drug related? No, it was, a, I guess it was a mistaken identity. They killed my niece. She yeah. don't do anything. And another dude, no, didn't have nothing to do with no drugs. LMPD declined to do an interview with us about Clarence Woods or the investigation of the double homicide at that residence, which is still unsolved. A spokesman tells us LMPD responded to two disturbance calls at that address last month. John Bowl, Wave 3 News.